Argyle. The movie can't seem to shake off this internet rumor. Did Taylor Swift write the book that inspired the movie? The cast telling me it all seems to be a bit of folklore. Are you ready for it? I was not aware of uh, the rumor about Taylor Swift until just recently. Mm -hmm. um, does she write her books? She like, does everything. Right? There's a cat in there. I think in many ways, certainly not wrong about the inspiration of Taylor, like the Argyle and the cat and all of them, the backpack and all of that. The Why breadcrumbs were Swift? placed. Yeah. Are you Swifties? No, uh, I mean, I, 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 mean, I, mean, I, I didn't even know. I don't know if I'll be led into the We're club. willing to learn. I'm a Chiefs fan, so we have that in common. And if uh, Taylor Swift and her fan base could be a vocal voice for us, it couldn't be a better movie. I mean, it would be kind of cool. What if we double bluffed and it actually was her? So let us break down how this rumor started. In Taylor's short film, All Too Well, she also plays an author with red hair. Taylor has a lot of love for Argyle Cardigans, and of course, you've got the very important cat in a backpack. I do not know Taylor. It is not true, apart from the cat. And the fact we both have a Scottish fold, which is the cat, and we have both have cat bags. Yeah. That is it. Taylor's involvement or not, this all-star cast delivers the goods in the new spy comedy action flick, Argyle, in theaters Friday. Rice plays an author whose book series unknowingly predicts the future. What is it you do? Espionage. <laughs> Here we go. You grew the beard for two years? No, no, no. Uh, <laughs> two and a half, three months, maybe. He did the flat top for two years. Yeah. I certainly hope you dance as well as you dress. There's only one way to find out. Dancing come on. doesn't necessarily come naturally to me unless I've had a few whiskeys. OK. Um, but once I have had a few whiskeys, then I, I do love it. Samuel L. Jackson rounds out the ensemble cast, something he's used to being a part of. One of his most iconic films, Pulp Fiction, turns 30 this year. What is the most recited line that fans come up to you and say from that movie? You know what they call a quarter pounder with cheese in France? I go, no, what? Because that's the line in the movie. Tell him, Vincent. Royale with cheese. I've only had about eight people that realized I was going to do the scene with them. 